five years ago, I knew I wanted to try short fiction and I had a story I wanted to tell, so I did it. It won the South Carolina Fiction Project Prize, which really confirmed for me I could do fiction as well as poetry and nonfiction. So I kept writing more, and so this past year, I I thought I have enough stuff I should I should enter. So I put together uh, a memoir essay and two fiction pieces, um, and I honestly I want to do more now. Um, having gotten the, the the fiction project prize and then getting this fellowship really affirms for me that even though I've always thought of myself as a poet, poetry writer, um, I can do something with fiction as well. When I moved here um, and became more involved in the community, I was a community columnist for a year as for the state newspaper, and I think my journalism background helped. I had been worked with the college newspaper when I was an undergrad. Um, I, I almost want to say that experience was invaluable to me as a creative writer, because writing for an op, writing an op-ed column for a newspaper, you quickly figure out what matters. Because you'll write a, a draft that's 1,200, 2,000 words long, and you know you only have 800. So how can you get across what you want to say in 800 words? So I think being a poet and doing the op-ed piece, I, I'm very aware of the economy of language. Like, so one of the biggest benefits of the fellowship is that affirmation that even if you haven't been publishing in that genre, really, you might have been publishing in another genre. Or even if you haven't been sending out much in that genre, you might have been sending out in another form or not sending out at all. The fellowship affirms that you're doing good work, um, and this is something you should keep doing, that you should keep trying uh, to do. Two things. One is persistence. Just keep doing it. You've got to keep writing. You've got to keep practicing. If you write 10 absolutely crappy pieces, that 11th one, you'll have something really good based on the practice of all that earlier writing. Um, so persistence more than anything else, but also trying other forms, trying other genres. Don't think I'm a poet. Don't think I'm a fiction writer. Don't think I'm a journalist. Right? Try to write in other fields and see, see not only what those fields can teach you about what you like to do, but what you already know you can do. How can that help you become an interesting writer in another area?